Michael Jordan, seven secrets to success. Who is Michael Jordan? Why should you care? And what could he teach you about you going from where you are to where you want to be? In this YouTube video, I'm going to share with you some powerful insights into one of the greatest sportsmen of all time. And I actually think one of the greatest human beings of all time. Are you ready? Let's get stuck in. So who is Michael Jordan? Well, if you haven't heard of him, um, I don't know where you've been because he's probably one of the most recognizable names on the planet. Yet he finished playing uh, professional basketball quite a long time ago. But he's so famous in the world right now because of a series that was on Netflix called The Last Dance. He's become even more heroic than he was many years ago. So Michael Jordan, Seven Secrets to Success. We're going to look at choosing your lane, demanding more, loving failure, playing for others, your greatness, using pain, and making your dreams a reality. So pass me the ball, my friend. So here you go. This is a basketball. When we talk about choosing our lane, I think in life it's really important to decide what it is that you're good at and to get better at it. Now, this basketball uh, is probably about 20 pounds, $20. And Michael Jordan took a basketball and turned $20 into $2.1 billion. The guy is worth an absolute fortune. He decided to look at what he was really good at and become the best he could possibly be. Now, this is a really easy thing to say. It's not always easy things to do. But the reality is he chose his lane. And I dare you to choose your lane and to go after it. Me, personally, I have chosen to be the best speaker, the best coach that I could possibly be. I'm not in competition with anyone else. I'm in competition with myself. And before we get stuck into the other secrets I want to share with you, I really want you to understand something. It's all great to have heroes like Jordan and to admire people like this. But what often happens is we separate ourselves. We think, I'm not like him. And in making this video, I really want you to think to yourself, what could I learn from Michael? How could I be a little bit more like him? How could I be a better version of myself? The first time I saw Michael Jordan, I saw him on television. I think it was in about 1992, 1993. I didn't even know who he was. And I was watching this on television and it was a game of basketball where he wasn't feeling very well. He had a temperature, but he still played. I think he got 56 points in that game. And I literally became obsessed with him from that moment onwards. I started collecting memorabilia, as you can possibly see. I've got pictures of him everywhere in my house. There he is. I look at this picture every single day and I think to myself, Michael's sticking his hand out to help me, to inspire me to be the very, very best that I can be. He's been probably the most positive influence in my life of people I've never actually met. And if I had one regret, I think the regret would be that I never saw him actually play. So the first lesson is most definitely, guys, choose your lane. Dare yourself to dedicate yourself to whatever it is that you are good at and get better at it. Apply what we call self-mastery. When you look at anyone who is successful in anything, what you see publicly, it's what they've done privately. It's the work of getting better at things. Now, this is one of the most amazing things that he has said. Anthony Robbins, who we made a video about uh, last week, how Anthony Robbins basically saved my wife's life. He interviewed Michael Jordan. And Jordan basically said that he demanded more of himself than anyone could ever expect. And that is one of the biggest lessons I have taken from, from him, myself personally, that I demand more of me than anyone else would ever expect. No one really knows what I do behind the scenes. Well, a few people do, but every single day, I've got very high standards. I get up at four o'clock every single day, constantly learning, constantly growing, because I want to be the best coach and the best speaker that I can be. What about you? See, he realized he wasn't actually in competition with anybody. He was just in competition with himself. You can be like Mike. I don't know how many of you have ever seen a very famous Nike advert where Michael Jordan, you can Google this, and I'd encourage you to watch it. It's amazing. He talks about the amount of times he's failed, the amount of times he's been given the ball right at the last minute 
to shoot, to win, and he's missed. And he says, I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. This is where I really learned the power of failure. And with the athletes who I worked with as a sports psychologist, this was one of the things that I really got people to change their perspective on. Because we know that people don't change when we tell them what to do. We know that people change when their perspective changes. In fact, when I worked uh, for two years with five-time snooker world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan, when he came to work with me, he was only supposed to come for a couple of hours and he came for three days. And for the first day, we pretty much just watched Michael Jordan videos because I wanted Ronnie to see how someone else moved through the world. Because we can all learn to choose to move through the world in a different way, but sometimes we need to look at what other people are doing and think, how could I be like that? How could you learn to love failure? Number four, always playing for others. Uh, if you ever see any of the stuff about Michael Jordan, and he talks about this in The Last Dance, he talks about that every time he played, he knew that there was someone in the crowd that had never seen him play before and would never see him play again, and he was playing for that person. Now, that is one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard anyone say. In fact, the first time I heard that, I didn't really get it. And it's taken me a few years to work out that life should all be about playing for others. Everything we do should be about helping and supporting others. And Michael Jordan, I believe, has done so much to so many people. In fact, people that didn't even know who he was because of lockdown have watched The Last Dance and realized you can really learn to think like that. You can really learn to be like that. Yeah, of course you can. You can play for others. Think about who you're playing for. I'm playing for my mom, my dad. I'm playing for my friends. Some of them aren't here anymore. I'm playing for you. I'm showing up here right now and saying, hey, come on. There's more to you than meets the eye. I'm saying, hey, what time is it? Game time. Ooh. Sorry, if you've seen the last dance, you know what I'm talking about. What time is it? It's game time. This is a game. Your life is a game. And you can play it any way you want to. But chances are you'll play the game the way everyone else is playing it. And you'll be stuck in a world of mediocrity. And I know deep down that's not for you. Number five, greatness. Michael knew that his greatness was something that was in front of him. He always played to get better. He was constantly looking to get better. How most people play the game of life is just about fitting in. Do you really know what you're capable of? Do you really think that you are who you are and there's nothing else you can do about it? Or do you think the best is yet to come? When you see Michael uh, after struggling for six years and not winning uh, the NBA and not being the most valuable player until after six years winning the NBA title three years on the trot, only then his father was murdered and he gave up playing basketball at the height of his greatness to become great at something else. And he went and played baseball. And you know what? He said the worst thing that could happen is I don't make it. If that's the worst thing that could happen, surely it's worth doing it. Now, actually going to play baseball and, and not making it, whatever that means to you, he then went back to basketball with a new heightened awareness, a new love for the game, always obsessed with greatness. Number six, using pain. You see, when we think about progress, and let's face it, we all want to make progress in our life, right? You want to make progress, you want to get better at things, what areas of your life do you want to be like Mike to be great? Do you want to be great with your health, your energy, your relationships, your wealth and your work? You've got to use pain to drive you forward. It shouldn't be your only driver. Greatness should be your driver in terms of something that's in front of you. But Michael Jordan, what a lot of people don't know about him, when he was at his school, he wasn't picked for his basketball team. Can you imagine that? The greatest basketball player that ever lived wasn't picked. He got upset, he cried, he went home. And you know what his mom said to him? She said, Michael, you want to use that pain to show everyone that they were wrong. He found that fire within him to show the world what he was really capable of. But what I love about that is he wasn't trying to prove himself to, to others, he was trying to prove himself to himself, to show himself what he's truly capable of. Whether we like it or not, most of us 
have settled to living in someday isle, someday island, waiting for something to happen, rather than using pain and deciding to move forwards to something that is better. And finally, dreams a reality. What Michael represents is the greatest thing that any human being can do. Every human being can dream. Everything that you've ever seen in the world that man has made has existed twice. First inside their mind and second in reality. Michael dreamed. He would see himself in the future in difficult situations, being given the ball with the last moment to score and win. He would see that over and over and over and over and over again. He dreamed of greatness. We have that ability. But the biggest challenge we have when we decide to dream is the interference inside our head. The interference that wants us to be like everyone else. If you truly want to be great, you've got to break free from what everyone else is doing and do things in a way that maybe you haven't done before. There is a price to greatness. There is a price to progress. And what I love about Michael and these seven things, and believe you me, I could talk about this guy for hours. He's my absolute hero. I wish you could see my shorts. They're Michael Jordan shorts. I wear Jordan all the time, pretty much. Uh, apart from when I'm not wearing my own brand, is because I want to be like him. And I always think, what would he do? How could I be like him today? So, in summary, Choose your lane, choose which area of your life you want to get better in. Of course, you could get better in many lanes, but I think professionally, and this is what I help people do, is choose the lane that they want to get better in and show them the mastery, the rituals, the processes, the habits that are needed in order to excel in that area. Demand more of yourself. It's, no one can demand more of you than you. Uh, love failure. Get used to, if you want to get better at something, know that it's not always going to turn out the way uh, that you want to. You've really, 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 really got to start playing for others. Have a bigger reason than just yourself for doing what you do. Strive for greatness. Know that your potential is limitless. The best is yet to come. And use pain. Use pain to drive you forwards, but also be driven by where you're going. And lastly, dream. Dare to dream big. Share your dreams. Because the more you share your dreams, the more other people will start to see what it is that you're going after. What are we here to do? We're here to grow. We're here to evolve. We're here to make the world a better place. How can we make the world a better place? You being a better version of yourself. Thank you, Michael Jordan. What time is it? It's game time. Ooh. Make sure you check out the video that I made about Tony Robbins and how he uh, saved my wife's life, or the film I made about Jim Rohn, how Jim Rohn saved my life. Look, your future's unwritten. You have the power to change. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out all of our videos. Take care, and we'll see you soon.